I'm Ed Lammer and I'm a pediatrician and medical geneticist here at Children's Hospital in Oakland. We're using a, a technique that is called a comparative genomic hybridization and that technique is a microarray type of technique and uh, we use the technique in such a way that we compare the chromosomes of a healthy individual to children who were born with congenital heart defects. So we mix together uh, two DNAs, a reference DNA and a test DNA, and they're labeled with two different colors. And we carefully uh, label the DNAs uh, as equally as we can, and then we quantitate the DNAs so that we have equal amounts of DNAs that we're mixing together. And then we hybridize those DNAs to a slide that has pro probe molecules that covers the entire human genome. And if there's equal hybridization between the two different colors, the, the hybridization signal will show up as yellow. And if there's a deletion, then that hybridization signal will show up as red. And so we're looking at uh, deletions along chromosomes of the test individual. Some genes which is critical for the development of, of human may be missing. So when we found these deletions, we are suspecting that this deletion may affect the cause of, of uh, congenital heart defects. This technique we think will help jumpstart searches because it's a faster way to hone in on likely good candidate regions where genes might lie that are important for congenital heart disease. If you aggregate together all of the children born with different types of congenital heart disease, that group of kids represents the most common birth grouping of birth defects that we see. So it's clear that congenital heart disease is a great public health burden for the country in terms of the number of children that are affected and the, the amount of, of public health dollars that must go toward uh, surgery and uh, care in the hospital and, and as outpatients for those children. Well, I'm so glad I was able to come back to the institute to keep on the research that I've been heavily involved and I'm glad I was able to continue on the research that I've been very interested in for the last several years. The stimulus has really helped me keep my job. I've um, trained as a genetic geneticist for about 30 years and to not be able to u make use of that knowledge and training that I've had to contribute to research um, really would be you know, a personal loss to myself and I think you know, a loss to research.